and it's dismembering the steel structure. In fact, the leading edge of these mushroom clouds are full of perimeter columns, aluminum cladding, and other steel. Let's take a look at the South Tower in terms of dismemberment. See what's going on here. South Tower's on your left. It was hit lower by the aircraft. And as you can see, its descent starts, its rapid destruction starts there, and it begins to tilt to the left. Now, in fact, and it disappears into this cloud. We would expect to see this building, which is already tilted at 22 degrees and continuing its angular momentum, off-center of the building below it. How can it crush it symmetrically at free fall speed when it's already off-center? We don't see it either mangled up in some heap at the bottom uh, down on the pavement. It's been completely dismembered. Let's take a look from below, though, because I'm not quite convinced. We have asymmetrical damage. And yet there's this symmetrical destruction occurring underneath the cloud all the way around the building like the firemen saw, even though this top mass has already fallen over. Free fall speed. Doesn't make sense to me. Steel frame structure was completely dismembered. There are no large chunks of building. Only those shards that we saw of the perimeter structure. Does it look like a gravitational collapse to you. Do we have a lateral ejection of structural steel? Let's take a look. Now let's look at the collapse of the Twin Towers. We are seeing explosions rather than implosions a first in demolition history. A sequenced rumble becomes a roar as debris is thrown outward. The damage is not contained. Windows are blown from neighborhood buildings. What kind of energy enabled this? Would fire hurl metal and concrete sideways into the air? Here, a chunk of steel was flung 400 feet, wedging itself deep into Three World Financial Center on Vesey Street. A FEMA photographer taking pictures of Ground Zero wondered why so many steel beams were jutting from neighborhood buildings. What shot pieces of the towers all the way across the street? In fact, the portions of the tower that had the greatest structural members, the sky lobbies and the mechanical floors, had the perimeter units thrown farther than the perimeter wall units from the upper floors, which theoretically should have, because they're higher, they should have gone farther, right? No, these perimeter units landed on the winter garden 600 feet away. Let's take a look at the physics of this. Girders weighing several tons were found 600 feet from the base of the North Tower. How fast they were ejected depends on where they originated. If they came from high in the building, they were thrown outward at about 50 miles per hour. If they came from lower down, the speed had to be even greater. Gravity alone cannot account for such high lateral ejection speeds. In fact, let's take a look at a couple of these specific ejections. Using special software, we can analyze motion on video clips frame by frame. I have placed markers on each frame so we can track a particular projectile. From the markers, we can get a data table and plot various graphs. The data here shows that the object we are tracking was shot horizontally at over 70 miles per hour. The energy needed to hurl a four-ton girder at this speed is comparable to the energy needed to hurl a 200-pound cannonball three miles. What about those floors, those pancakes? We're, we're, this is a pancake collapse. We're looking for some pancakes down below. This is a seven-story lobby. There's about two or three stories of stuff in there. We'll take a look at that stuff, but what I'm looking for is 110 floors with this kind of metal decking underneath four and five inches thick of concrete. An acre in size, each of them. 110 acres of these. How many floors do we find down at the bottom? Not 50? 
Not ten, not even one. We don't even find metal decking down there or concrete. There's hardly any macroscopic chunks of concrete. What happened to the metal decking? What happened to the concrete? Tom Patrizzo brought these floor decks out, 6,000 of them, he says. I couldn't believe it. Not one floor panel, he notes, when he comes back to help the cleanup. Pancakes occur in pancake collapses. 